drugs that bad in the grand scheme of things in society? <clears throat> yes and no. I mean, like, for example, with my friend, um, she's got lupus. So obviously, mm-hmm. you know, she gets what is lupus? Stuff. So it's like um, she gets like. It's like body, not body pains, but well, it is like body pains basically. And like, yeah, so she has like pains in her body, stuff like that. I can't really explain it too much because I don't Proper know. Proper vague, but yeah, yeah I'll go on it. But anyway, <laughs> she she smokes um weed to obviously help with that because it, you know, it helps her relax, it helps, you know, calm her with right. all that stuff, like helps with her body and stuff. So in that aspect, yes. And obviously you've got, you know, other drugs like, I don't know, um, Heroin. MDMA. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That'll uh, sort you right out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That'll> <laughs> sort you right that was stuff. But um, in terms of, I don't know if you want to talk about it being legal and stuff, because I feel also with drugs altogether, I don't agree with it being legalized, because I feel as if. <laughs> so you want your, your friend to suffer? Is that what you're saying? Mm. Come on, she not- should just take paracetamol. Like, it's not that <laughs> <laughs> she's just saying that, you know. She don't need weed, honestly. Oh, well, she's so, yeah, but sometimes paracetamol like, don't work, fam. You'd what? Well, it's for lupus, it's more than just paracetamol. Yeah, you need fine. <laughs> So wait, Florian, you're totally against the legalization of what? Like, what? So Why? wait, do you mean like all drugs or just like weed in particular, for instance? All drugs. All drugs. All, all drugs. Or <laughs> recreational drugs. But I'm you can so any drug it. can be recreational though. But you know what? The Adderall's of like Adderall's a prescription MDNA, pharmaceutical, and people cocaine. use that all the time. I'm pretty much against weed. Even weed. Yeah. Even yeah. weed. Yeah. yeah. You're a top snitch, fam. You came Why? with me to Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> you came with me to Amsterdam. You know what I mean? I was, it was, I was, it was your birthday, speech. you know. That's, it was. that's the reason I came yeah, out. I'm, it was. I'm totally against it. Man. I don't see a point in even consuming it. But Wait, you had space cake still? Cool. What? Me? What? You, you had space cake still? Yeah, you did actually. Yeah, that was, you know, when in damn, you know, you got to try what's around, but. I don't think it should be legalized at all. <laughs> By that rationale, why did you do? Why did you, why don't why, you... Why did you do prostitution yeah. then? Is that legal? You said when in, we said when in dam, you might also do what you can do. Bro, it's slightly different. Like what? they're both legal though. <laughs> no, but taking a bit of weed and uh-huh. fucking a hoe, that's slightly different. Wow. Oh, okay. oh, all right, 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 all right. Wow. Okay. So wait, fucking that's a hoe. I said fucking a hoe. Wow. Okay. 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 Fucking okay. a prostitute. Slightly You're... different. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, 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 that's not the reason why we said that's the masculinity, though. Because you called her a hoe as opposed to a prostitute. But anyway, yeah. Or a sex worker. Same thing. Which is what it is now. Same thing. But you know what it is? I feel like um, there, as bad as it sounds, like there are benefits to like drugs being one hundred percent. Like, like from an economic perspective as well, because obviously you look at America in the nineteen. 80s, I think it was Ronald Reagan started the war on drugs. Again, it was primarily against the cocaine epidemic, which mm. was always, I think it was around the 70s or 80s, like cocaine was rampant. And obviously they set up, there was a whole task force that was set up, obviously the DEA. And then you look at that from an economic point of view, like that generate that whole bolster the economy because it created a whole new division within the police force, which then enabled people to be like in work. So you're saying that we should legalize weed in order to put more money into the economy. Well, well you know the... Hold on, let me say your thing. No, because like, to your point, Tebbit, I mean, like, I feel as if you legalise it, like, with drugs in general, you know, users may become addicted to it. Like, it's, that's that's you can become addicted to anything. Yeah. 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 Carry on, carry on, carry on. Carry on. Carry on. It's the weed. It's the weed it's talking. The weed. It's the weed talking. No, but what I was trying to say is, like, you know, users will become um, addicted to it. And with, with that being said, I would say then, like, with, you know, with, you know, then they would have to go to rehab, all these kind of facilities and stuff. And then, you know, it's going to be a case of that the government may, the government, government may need to make more facilities for this and stuff. So we're going to have to still put money, <laughs> put money towards that. And even with that being said, I mean, like, for example, if you legalise weed, yeah, Although, yeah, okay, fair enough. It would help with certain situations like overcrowding in prisons because obviously then drug dealers won't be going to prison and stuff like that. However, like I just said with the rehab thing, you're gonna have, they're going to have to put more, more money into that, for example, because people will become addicted to it. Sorry, my face. <clears throat> I'm keeping Adam on his leash. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, let, I'll let everyone go before Adam starts. I'll take yeah, off his like, leash. Um... Okay, uh, I, 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 I was going to say, I, I, Tevin's, uh, all of Tevin's actions yeah, caught me off guard. But, um, yeah, no, to be fair, you can regulate weed. You, Obviously, you have the, those active components within weed, which are uh, what, THC and CBD. So if you, if you regulate the THC level within 
uh, read it should be fine and people wouldn't. I can't be. Like, that's BS. Yes. Because if you know that the why weed, am I fucking, why, why am I okay. you know that the weed happy. that you can grow in your house is stronger than the one you can buy in the supermarket, why buy the one at the supermarket? Mate, it's the same way that you can actually create alcohol in your own yard. Yeah, but that is longer to do. No, it's not. Who here longer. knows how to you, create you, alcohol? Yeah, Mate, who, who here knows, knows how to? You could YouTube. You don't have to grow plants. Where are you going to get the plant seeds from? Huh? Where are you going to get the seeds from? You can buy them on Amazon. It's actually prime delivery. It's actually illegal. It's actually illegal to sell those. It's actually illegal to sell the plant and the seeds, but actually putting it in the soil and growing them is the illegal part. You're actually allowed to buy the seeds. It's perfectly legal to buy. No, them. he's right. <laughs> Friends said, "Why? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make illegal sense. To it doesn't it. It make sense. It doesn't make sense." Does Wait, it? do a quick whip around. What's your stance? So, should weed be like the, the war on drugs? Do you think it's basically like yeah? Do you think the war on drugs is pointless? Yes or no? Um, well, what I'm saying is like, if we legalize it, I feel as if with drug dealers, like, what do they go to next? Because not every, not every of them feel like they can just go into retail, go into you know nine to five. So they may now go into something you know worse and start I don't know right. maybe arm robbery or they'll start making yeah. their own drugs, which is even worse than the drugs that are currently out there. No, sorry, I, I'm just bugging. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know, but like you can you can say that about a lot of things though. I'd say like you need to. There's a like a big difference between substance abuse and the use of substances. And yeah. there's like that's a, that's like a big misconception that people have because you can have a drink, like you can have a drink. That doesn't mean you're mm. an alcoholic. Do you know what I mean? People go to the club. I've been fucked in the club. It doesn't mean mm-hmm. I'm an alcoholic. Do you know? Oh, well, I mean? we know. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got receipts. Know. You got receipts. We all know. Like <laughs> we've got receipts. Exactly. What about you, Fred? Like, no, are you so, pro, are you for or against? Let me quickly address um, Valerie's point mm. um, because I, I believe David Lammy and there was two other MPs that went over to the Netherlands to actually um, do a review on drugs, etc., and seeing if they could legalize it in the UK. And they were proposing the idea that those that have been done for drug dealing, can, uh, dealer, yeah, dealing can be dispensers or in charge of dispensers. Yeah, they, they do that, they're doing that, that in America as well yeah. now. So I believe they can take charge of their own shop. Mm. Uh, See, the but thing- the problem is that the people that went to prison because of weed, they're not able to set up businesses due to stringent laws. And that's the issue that you're facing in America. The people that went to prison for selling them cannot legally oh, sell weed now. Well, by the time it's... Re- Legalized in the UK, I presume all of those sentences will be revoked. And um, For what? why? Why would they? Why would the government revoke your sentence? No, they won't. It's a bit. It's a bit of a like a hard one to kind of analyze, I guess. Because imagine you go to prison for something and you're in there for ten years, and then they say what you went to prison for is now legal. So right. again, imagine the same thing. You'd be so angry, home, and the uh, government's not going to tell you sorry. Like the state won't tell you <laughs> sorry, no, the or they're not going to repar- They're not going to you know give you reparations for your time in prison. It's the they're same thing with that. homosexuals, though. Back in the day, they used to lock them up, etc. They illegal. did. It was a mental. And illness now, for a while. yeah, and now, um, even though they're all dead, um, they're saying that oh, <laughs> I don't know what kind of thing they do. <laughs> but they basically say, I feel like I'm just digging that. Yeah, like, what, yeah, what type of are. thing they do? Oh, no, no. no, 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 no do you mean gay sex rooms? No, I'm not talking about gay people. Fuck the. No, I'm talking about the government has now somewhat revoked that um, sentence. So they're no, they're no longer. As it's not illegal criminals. to be gay yeah. anymore. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, obviously, it's no longer on their record that they were in prison and they've been released or something like that. I'll, I'll find. So they'd be facts. acquitted. Acquitted. That's yeah. the word the I wanted. Thank it was you. It's fun to see you squirm. <laughs> 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 it was so crowded. I appreciate that. You didn't save him. You know what it is? Yeah, 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 my opinion on it all. Actually, wait. I think you're. So you never like you waffled bears, but is it yes or no? Like, do you uh, feel like what weed or like <laughs> the war on drugs? That's what I was saying. Like the war on drugs. Mate, right, it's just like you'll have to get rid of a whole economy, as you're saying. I'm, I'm against it. You're against it. I'm against it as well. Well, am I against the war on drugs? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. What about you, it's not a feasible war option. War on drugs. War on drugs. Am I against it? The war on drugs. Are you, are you for or against the war on drugs? That is like the biggest Venus like, question that... <laughs> like, Vegas. 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 Okay, Vegas. do you support the war on drugs? Okay. Like, I, what's happening? Or do you I, I oh, do. You do. I do. You do. Before, I do. Because that's... We all do. No, we the don't. I don't. To, to a certain I don't. Okay. Do all drugs. So you, you think all drugs should be legal? Yeah, I actually think all drugs should be legal. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But that's, it sounds it sounds crazy when you say when you when you're laughing like no, that. No, but but no, I believe like all this, <laughs> what what you need is not not laws that put you away if you're going to use a substance. What you need is good education so that you don't use it. And that's but, what they should funnel money into is educating kids from a young age on what these substances do. And it should be their though. choice they to be. Like, yeah, they should. But like what? So who's the one, uh, the war on drugs? Yeah, the war on drugs is a concept. Basically, it's not a war of fighting anybody. It's not a war for actually fighting people, is it? The only people, it who, the, 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 only people yeah, the, the only people that pay the price for it, though, the only people that actually pay the price for it are addicts or people that you know use the drug. And that's not fair. 
you know what I mean? Because you're not going to take heroin or you're not going to take crack if you're in a good place in life. You're not going to do it. Do you know what I mean? A I'm, lot of people, well, a lot of people. But if it's legal, you're bound, yeah, it's, you know, it's going to be around you. So you're going to want to Actually, you know what? I'm, nah, just, it's, I'm, it's, I'm actually, Carla Adam, I just deeped what I said. I, I deeped it. I'm, I'm switching sides. Switch, I just deeped mean? it. I'm literally saying that every single drug should be legalized. Yeah. I, okay, yeah, I, feel, I feel like certain drugs should be legalized and I feel like, you know, it, oh, I don't know, I'm bare conflicted because it's like, the US has tried it already with the prohibition with alcohol that failed. But what this did was lead to yeah, a spike work. in other crimes like racketeering. Prohibition doesn't work. Exactly. So it's a situation, it's like, think of it as, let's just think of it in a more microscopic um, con, uh, concept. If your parent, okay, oh, it's different because you're all like Nigerian and well, African, isn't it? But if your parent says to tell you, don't do, or even that, if someone says to you, you can't do something, innately, you're going to want to do it even more and you're going to find a way to do it and get away with it. The correct? difference about prohibition is that what they did is that they banned the substance. What we're saying is that we should remove the ban from substance. Right now, we don't have addicts everywhere. People don't regularly. Have you not? Consume. You were in Portsmouth with me, bro. Yeah. People don't regularly <laughs> consume. The ratio between or nitties and students was oh, like three that, to one. That is really funny. That is really funny because you. Do you know where I was? Like, oh, it doesn't matter. Like yesterday, bro. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> where I was yesterday. <laughs> when you when you're telling me people don't consume cocaine regularly, go to the bar. I was at yesterday. But you can't and, buy and try and see that there's a line for the toilets and nobody wants to piss. <laughs> <laughs> there's a line for the toilets and nobody wants to take a piss, fam. But what I was saying is that nobody right. goes to the shops to buy drugs. Isn't mm. like. You sit down with your family to consume drugs. It isn't <laughs> that's, 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 that's a different like a plate of cocaine around the dinner table. You know what I mean? some, just, just finish your, co- just finish your cocaine, Steve, but otherwise you're not going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. yeah.